In this video, we're going over the top things to do in Wilmington, but I'm not coming at it from the standpoint of a tour guide. I am not a tour guide. I'm a realtor, and my job is to show you the lifestyle here in the Wilmington region. Let's hop into it. What's going on, guys? Thank you for tuning into Living in Jacksonville. I'm Avery. I'm with American Home Team at eXp Realty. And as much as I love making these videos for you guys, I would love even more to help you with your real estate needs. So that phone number and email address popping up on your screen. I am the one that responds to all the calls, texts, and emails. And I would love to have a conversation with you and help you make a smooth move to the Wilmington and surrounding areas. With that said, guys, today we're discussing the things to do, the lifestyle in Wilmington, North Carolina. As you can see, it is sunny out. I'm probably getting sunburn on my arm right now. It is uh, mid-February and it's, you know, 60 degrees. Actually, right now it's a little, it's like 55 degrees right now, but it's approaching 60 degrees. Uh, and, you know, I'm outside in short sleeves. People are out playing tennis at the park uh, and racquetball. And there's a uh, little um, men's league baseball game going on right now. But with that said, it is an extremely... Uh, outdoorsy area. It's an extremely vibrant area. There's a lot going on and people are very, very active in Wilmington. And so when we talk about the Wilmington area, we're talking all the way from roughly about Surf City, Topsail Island area, all the way over to, you know, Fort Fisher, Curry Beach area. And so that is basically Pender County all the way over to Brunswick County. And that's what we're going to consider as like the Wilmington region. And because a, a lot of people, when they think about Wilmington, they think about those regions, right? We're looking at Surf City, Hampstead, all the way to, you know, Ogden, historic downtown. We're looking at Silver Lake. We're looking at Monkey Junction and uh, all the way out to Carolina and Cary Beach. We do have uh, Wrightsville Beach in there as well. So we're looking at a very big area. But what things are there to do in the area on a day to day basis, right? Oh, beautiful winter day like today. Uh there's actually a lot to do. And so during the winter months, right, we'll just start there because it's winter. It's middle of February right now. There is a lot less to do uh, in the area than in the summer months because some places uh, like on the island and stuff, they close down for the winter because there's not as much business going uh, around to keep those places open. But with that said, the lifestyle here is extremely vibrant from, you know, going out to breweries, distilleries, restaurants, that kind of thing, to going to some of the kids' museums, uh, going to Jungle Rapids, you know, going to the movie theater, just doing some shopping, doing the river walk uh, in historic downtown, as well as just seeing the site like Battleship North Carolina, the Bellamy Mansion. There's so much to do just around historic downtown, as well as some of like the suburb areas, like I had mentioned, Jungle Rapids. That's an extremely fun place for kids to go. It has an arcade. Uh, it does have a little toddler section with like a little jungle gym, some slides, ball pits, that kind of thing. We take our three-year-old to Jungle Rapids uh, a couple times a month, I would say. And she absolutely loves it. She always makes friends. We make friends. And so, you know, there's a ton of different things to do. With that said, there's a ton of walking trails around the area as well as parks like I'm in today. Today I'm in Ogden Park and people are out walking their dogs they're just go they're going on a run they're playing uh men's league uh softball games people are on the tennis court playing tennis so there's a lot to do because the weather is so mild year round we never really have these extreme highs or extreme lows you get to benefit from the activities year round now with that said you are not going to be going to the beach to go swimming there are plenty of surfers enjoying the swells uh, this time of year, but not a lot of people uh, swimming because it the water is pretty cold. It's like 45 to 50 degrees. We expect that to start warming up here soon uh, as we approach March. But for most people, that 50 degree water is uh, going to be a little bit too cold to go and enjoy the, the water. So you just see people walking up and down uh, the beaches, going on the boardwalks and enjoying just the scenery that the beach has to offer. We have a number of beaches in the area. Topsail Island, which is gonna be the furthest north. Then we have Wrightsville Beach. And then we have uh, 
Carolina Beach and Kerry Beach, and that's not even mentioning, right, like some of the islands like Masonboro Island or Shark Tooth Island that are just kind of sprinkled within, right? Masonboro Island is a boat access only island. So you'll need to canoe, kayak, take your boat to Masonboro Island, but it is a nature preserve, beautiful area, and just an excellent place to explore. Additionally, there are aquariums all throughout the area. There's turtle rescues all throughout the area that's really good for kids to go explore. Or if you're an, an adult that's just fascinated by sea life and that kind of thing, that's really cool to go learn about the sea life that we have here in North Carolina. Additionally, in the winter, uh, there is an ice skating rink that folks can go and ice skate. Um, but that is, you know, a, a nice place to go uh, a time or two during the winter months um, just to kind of get that, you know, that northern vibe, right? Like the, the ice skating, the ice rink feel. And then also, you'll catch a lot of boaters in the winter months uh, out in the intercoastal, out in the ocean, because there's not many people out and about. So uh, winter is a good time of year for fishing, and you'll just see a lot of people going and enjoying uh, their boats when it's not as crowded on the intercoastal waterway or the ocean. Boating is a massive activity here in North Carolina, in the Wilmington region, whether it's winter or summertime. Now, moving into the summer months, there's even more to do, in my opinion. Uh, you'll start to see some of these smaller shops opening back up for the tourist season. You'll see some restaurants opening up for the tourist season. Uh, and then, you know, some boat clubs and jet ski rentals and things like that opening up for the tourist season. The area is also great for uh, fishing charters. Um, so a lot of people, if they don't have their own boats, but they do want to deep, uh, deep water fish, they'll take these uh, fishing charters and go out in the ocean, uh, spend a day out there, fish, catch some fish, do their thing, and then come back in. And so that is a great opportunity for people to go fishing, but not have the hassle of owning a boat. Now, some of you moving from big cities to Wilmington, uh, one thing that you'll be shocked by is that there is not really a significant nightlife. There are not a lot of clubs that you can go dancing in. There's not a lot of that kind of thing, right? Like you would get in maybe inner city uh, Charlotte or Raleigh or you know anywhere else uh, with big cities, Miami, New York City, San Francisco, that kind of thing. You're not gonna get that here. This is a low key, small town vibe. Even though it is a medium sized city, it does feel very small town. And so the nightlife will consist of going out to restaurants, going out to the bars, going out to, you know, uh, the eateries and the distilleries and stuff and enjoying the time with your friends, maybe with your family, your kids, but there's not a ton of nightclubs. With that said, there's a few uh, where you can go and dance and stuff. But what you'll notice is that the college kids, they also know about that place. But what I've noticed and what I can tell about a lot of you moving from other areas of the country, you're moving here for a little bit more of a laid back vibe. You want the coastal vibes. Maybe you're the surfer type. Maybe you're a longboarder type. Or you're just coming here to enjoy retirement. You want an active lifestyle. You want nice weather, but you want it to be a little bit more low key than some of the bigger cities. Maybe, you know, Sarasota, Florida, Miami, Tampa, that kind of thing. This is definitely going to be that area for you. You know, one thing you will notice about the area is that there's so many people outside all the time, whether they're biking, whether they're walking, running, uh, you know, just out in the driveway with their friends or in the backyard. I was with some clients the other weekend and they had mentioned like, holy crap, all the lights and stuff in people's backyard, like the string lights and, you know, patios and that kind of thing is crazy compared to where they're coming from. And, you know, the truth is, their life on the back patio or on the deck is a little bit more important to them than uh, what's inside the house. So a lot of people, when they're looking around here, they want decent sized yards. They want something that they can entertain and spend time with the, their family, their friends outdoors and to enjoy the weather. Days like today where, you know, it's going to be 60 degrees. It's very mild, no, no humidity whatsoever. Sun's out, not a cloud in the sky just makes for an awesome time. So people move here for those reasons. And that is the majority of the lifestyle. Sounds kind of boring. But when you literally have every option out there, uh, because the weather's so nice, you don't have to hunker down indoors just because it's so gloomy and rainy and snowy all the time. 
it really makes for a better quality of life. You know, I will say there's not too many indoor activities that you can do with kids and that kind of thing. There's a few, there's enough to stay busy, you know, a uh, couple times a month or whatever, right? But the majority of what's here in Southeastern North Carolina is outdoor activity. So that's something you're gonna wanna pay attention to. If you're looking for, you know, a big city with things to do with in, like indoor uh, activities and stuff, not quite the area for you, but because we're such a mild climate and because it's beautiful out outside year round, this is where we get our activities. So paddle boarding, kayaking, canoeing, boating, fishing, walking, running, biking, you name it, it's here. Uh, there's walking pads, there's uh, hiking trails. I say hiking with quotes because um, there's no hills, right? So whatever you call hiking, uh, it's more of a leisurely stroll on some flat terrain. But with that said, there's a number of clubs and things that you can join in order to, uh, you know, socialize and do some fun things. But with that said, guys, that is basically it. That's the lifestyle here. To you city folks, the people that, you know, enjoy the hustle and bustle of the city, it's gonna be a little boring to you, right? It's gonna be a change of pace, a change of culture. You may or may not like it, right? But for those of you that are seeking something a little bit slower of a lifestyle, something a little bit more laid back, a little bit more coastal and beachy, right? That's why I moved here. That's why, you know, I brought my family here. That was our decision. And a lot of you that call me, that is why you're looking in this area as well. So be sure to uh, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you're notified every single time I drop a new video. I'm getting back on track here. Uh, we've been super busy as a family. I've been super busy with some clients. So just want to make sure that I'm prioritizing my time and such uh, properly and giving the uh, giving enough care to everybody involved. And until the next video, hope you guys have a fantastic week.